All right, welcome back. Uh, let's go straight into it, Tayo. 55 days to the World Cup. Right. And um, he's upon us. He's <laughs> upon us every day. He's getting so close. Closer by the day. And um, yeah, obviously, I cannot wait for it to start. And I imagine a lot of football fans out there as well to kind of wait for it to start. But it's 55 days to go still. Um, I some time left uh, for the organizers, uh, for FIFA, for the referees uh, to uh, get set uh, for the biggest uh, football tournaments on the planet and yep. we're going to be focusing on the referee uh on today's uh countdown to the world cup in russia uh the var uh, has been uh controversial to say the least it's mm -hmm. been contentious uh its introduction has been contentious mm -hmm. let's put it that way and uh but we know for sure that it's going to be at the world cup uh that's uh that's how uh, we know which is for certain and um the referees are getting ready they're getting set oh they they're going to need a lot of training obviously they've been training prior to this and it's more trainings uh, for them uh, so when the competition starts they will be able uh, to efficiently and effectively uh, utilize uh, this technology. Yeah that, that's, that's the whole essence. Um, uh, FIFA is not ready to back down on the stance that um, uh, we're going to see the Vieira at, uh, right. at the Russia World Cup. So uh, we need to get it right. You know a lot of controversies have trailed the use of the video, um, video assistant uh, uh, referee, referee yeah. and um, all of these issues need to be sorted out. Who's making the calls? Can a referee overrule the VAR? You know, all of these little, little uh, details. So that even when, um, you know, everything is see, they, they seem to, so that you look as if there's fairness, you know. Uh, it, 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 I don't know. I just want to see maybe in a few friendlies before the World Cup, th these select referees yeah. that are going to the World Cup <laughs> show us what they've learned. Because if you if you mess it up at the at, at the biggest at stage. the big stage, yeah, well, that's what will remember the World Cup in mm. 2018. Be a major for. setback. Uh, so I, the... I just hope these referees, the yeah. select one, the elite uh, referees, that will be going to the World Cup. Uh, we'll get it right, and we don't have the kind of confusion. The one mm. we saw in Germany, the one we've been seeing mm. uh, in, in some other places that we don't get to see it. Interesting. And uh, our FIFA's uh, referees uh, committee chairman, uh, the famous Pierre Legui Colina, he's been uh, speaking on, uh, on this particular technology, the VR. He's been explaining exactly why. Uh, he's basically admitted that he understands uh, why uh, some people are still uh, skeptical about its introduction. Let's listen to him now, as well as a host of other uh, top referees that will be at the World Cup in Russia. It is normal before uh, you start using something that is new and not uh, well known by, by many, uh, it is normal that uh, someone could be skeptical about, uh, about this. What uh, we can say is uh, uh, the goal is clear. Uh, VAR can avoid the uh, big mistake to be committed and this is the target and this is something that has to be understood by everybody. One thing is for sure, the VAR doesn't take all the discussions out of football. Uh, the VAR can be your best friend when we miss a crucial situation, so he can really help you to correct this mistake you made. FIFA has done so many seminars for us, it, um, training of VAR, both on the pitch and off the pitch. So we are very, very comfortable. And um, we also started in Africa. Now we are also using VAR on few occasions, not all and especially on tournament. Yes, that's Africa's own, I mean, arguably, or arguably, Africa's best uh, uh, referee there, Bakari Papa Gassama. Uh, you also heard from Pierre Legui Colin as well, too. They all seem ready, and they all seem confident that uh, the VR uh, will bring more good uh, than bad at the World Cup in Russia. So, um, one more. Interesting uh, development from the VAR. Fans will now get the opportunity to see on big screens uh, when decisions are made. Uh, they will get explanations as well, too, on why a decision has been made uh, courtesy the VAR. I mean, that's very, very fantastic because one of the main criticisms of this VAR is that a lot of the times the fans are left in the dark. They don't even know what is going on. They're confused. But with this uh, initiative now to ensure that fans are carried along, I think... Uh, that one has been nipped in the board. Yeah, we'll see. Um, uh, and issues as to whether or not the ref can overrode the VAR, I think that needs to be sorted. Who, who makes the calls? That, that needs to be sorted as well. You don't want to see players demanding that the ref 
Uh, then again, if... Let's take a look, referee. Let's go and let's look. Go and look. <laughs> then, then in situations where the ref feels he doesn't need to... He made the wrong call and he feels he doesn't need to look at the mm. VAR. I, I think all of those issues uh, oh. uh, need, need to be um, sorted uh, as well. And... Uh, uh, b before we before we leave this segment, quickly, right. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlatan. Uh, I don't know. The guy just keeps. What a man. He's what in the a news man. all the time. <laughs> and what now, a man. And now um, he's teasing us, mm. teasing us, teasing us. That's the right word. Because um, I remember, uh, oh, it's, yeah, something else Sunday, last Sunday, and it came up uh, with a with a tweet that okay, I'm in my chances of. Playing at the World Cup at Sky High. He said it in Swedish, but we're able to translate it to mean in Sky High. And people started you know to talk I feel about... Yeah. Uh, people uh, started uh, to talk about that. Okay, is this guy really going to go to the World Cup? Then he goes on uh, yeah. he goes on a, whole, uh, on a, on a, on a show in uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Let me mm -hmm. put it out there. And he says the same thing. I'm going to Russia. Yeah. But didn't say whether he's going to play or not. And that's where uh, the suspense is. And you know, is he going to Russia as a fan? Is he going to go to Russia as... A player with a Sweden national team yeah. is teasing us. He is teasing us. When, when, when the Swedes qualified, he, he tweeted <laughs> and said, he put the, the letter Z in front of Sweden, yeah. took out the S, yes. meaning Sweden. Sweden is Zlatan. Zlatan right. is Sweden. He does that all the time. <laughs> so, uh, he's, we'll a, he's, see. he's an we'll enigma see. of a player. He's a character, big character. And you have to say, uh, he's in the right uh, to be a big character. He's, uh, they caught up with him after training, after a training session with the uh, LA Galaxy. And this is what he has to say about um, his uh, likely um, yeah, presence at the World Cup. Um, I mean, he's basically, that, basically, what he said was, I'm going to the World Cup. I'm not going to give you more on than this. That. And um, for me personally, I think, uh, I think he's a marketing uh, ploy. I think he, I know he signed a big deal one of the major sponsors of the tournament, and uh, perhaps that's why he's going to Russia and not to play necessarily. It's a big draw. Um, a lot of people, whether it's playing or not, uh, yeah. Zlatan is news. Mm. So I guess, and he's in the US now, where a lot of those things, showmanship, a lot of those things, people being in the news, perpetuating their interest. I guess, I guess um, that, that's, that's what it's all about. So we'll see. It's going to be in Russia, whether he's going to play for the Swedish national team, uh, whether he's going there as a fan. We'll see. I guess that uh, does it for um, this segment.